first i will speak about uh, uh, like demo kind of thing 10 minutes and then if you have any doubts we'll discuss after that i will go to the application and i will start the session so today and tomorrow anyone can join anyone can join from monday onwards whoever is paid fee those people only will be allowed into the session okay <clears throat> so give me 10 minutes first let me speak about uh, what is this product and everything and then we'll continue so i hope you are able to see my screen so microsoft dynamics 365 f1o is the application name microsoft dynamics 365 f1o is the application name in this there are functional roles and technical roles there are two roles okay but i am a expert in functional only i am expert in functional but not technical of course if you are really interested in technical i will suggest you to go with technical first even though i am a functional consultant if you are really interested technical means developer coding if you are really interested if you compare these two technical demand is always huge there is a huge demand for technical but in future i don't know at present there is a heavy demand for technical first and within functional there are some different different modules i will discuss with you okay so if you want to learn this one what is the qualification required for me to teach you is 10th knowledge your 10th knowledge is enough for me to teach you all these things so the first one is domain knowledge and functional knowledge domain knowledge and functional knowledge means what where when which why if you are making then it is the answer is domain knowledge so here always whenever i am teaching i will teach with you real time scenario any subject i will i will start with real time scenario means i will explain the on the uh, ppt and then i will show in the system okay just wait for 5 10 minutes please mute yourself if anyone would like to speak after 5 minutes you can speak yeah please anyone you can mute yourself please uh, nanda kishore if you don't mind can you uh, mute yourself yeah so first one is domain knowledge or functional knowledge my focus is always domain knowledge and functional knowledge that is real time scenario so 60% my focus will be this one. and you need to have little bit technical knowledge what is this technical knowledge means like tab radio button drop down text small small things you need to learn majorly and next one is dynamics 365 f and o how to operate so many people will think like if i know how to operate i can learn this application many people will think like that okay how to operate is 40% only but majorly this is the important domain knowledge if you are a, if you are if you want to become a functional guy functional expert you need to have real time scenarios with the functional knowledge that is most important so second priority is dynamics 365 f and o how to operate so many people will think like if i know how to operate i can get a job this is many people assumption this is not only this is not only it will not help only how to operate i mean to say how to work with the product is not only help you to get into your dynamics world you need to have this knowledge first okay next some erp concepts i will discuss with you ledger sub ledger enterprise level data that is shared data some small topics i will discuss with you interview techniques so these all are i'll make sure you are going to become a stronger in this area i'll teach you all these things now for you you need to have a good communication skills good communication skills is most important here good communication skills means it is not like excellent vocabulary but you need to speak whatever you are speaking the opposite person should be able to understand that is the most important that's it then education qualification some companies they will ask uh, uh, like uh, 
suppose infi infosys they will ask like you need to be very uh, degree with the distance degree. i mean to say first class only then only they will take into the company so this is completely education qualification is company to company it will be vary company to company it will be changed next practice with the system and opportunity in the market these skills are in your hand these skills i will make sure you are going to be stronger these skills are in your hand together you can get into a job okay and the training will be 10 to 12 weeks roughly 2 and a half months 10 to 2 12 weeks that means around 50 to 60 hours around 50 to 60 hours so uh, like other institutes i cannot teach you in 20 to 25 hours many people many trainers they will complete in 10 around 20 hours but i cannot complete in 20 hours that is not possible for me okay if you are anyone is urgently i want to learn so please look for some other trainer i will take two and a half months two to two and a half months so the training will be monday to friday and today and tomorrow it is free of session free session you can join anyone six to seven it is scm trade and elastics 78 it is finance okay these are the two sessions so whenever i'm teaching i will teach you first transactions then i will come to masters then setups configurations parameters so slowly i will teach you all these things okay so first transactions like sales order to invoice purchase order to invoice next masters customer vendor item there are so many masters you need to understand setups configurations parameters also you should know once you are familiar with this terminologies and functions then i will create a new company so creation of a company is after one month not now after create one company and then i will do all the setups and conversions transactions so this is a sample project i'll show you sample project fine so always happy paths happy path means success whenever you are posting any transaction it should be posted immediately properly that is success you need to learn like success scenarios as well as failure scenarios negative path means failure scenarios if you are getting some errors or some warnings it is orange and red okay that is the main focus you need to you need to focus on the main orange and red whenever you are doing something you are getting red or you are getting orange then you need to understand why it is coming like that that is your primary goal and if you for the environment access you can approach rajashekar so rajashekar number is 9494254826 you can approach rajashekar he will install in your laptop otherwise if your laptop is not supporting he will give you a web link so for this he will charge money so you can negotiate with him whatever the way you want okay so once you pay fee for temporarily i will give you trial version this a temporary link that will be available one two hours only not more than that so there is no much benefit from this one okay but you need to have this in mind whether it is installed in your laptop if your laptop is not supporting you can purchase a web link this web link is 4 to 6 months validity okay i will give you sample resume and sample interview questions i am not going to give you support or job guarantees kind of thing i want to be very much clear with my this two and a half months training you are going to gain 3 years experience knowledge so equivalent to 3 years if you join in a company as a fresher and 3 years knowledge whatever you are going to gain that knowledge i am going to deliver until and unless if you practice what are the way i'm saying you need to practice okay this is about a demo kind of thing now anyone have any questions please before going to start the session if you have any questions i will clear your question your doubts and then i will proceed with the system anyone have any questions please anyone no questions okay 
let me introduce into the production plan hello sorry yeah, yes please yeah, is this course included uh, production planning also, or is it only the the procurement side? Okay, fine. Uh, give me one minute. I will give you a clarification. Just a minute. Let me copy one file, and then I will discuss. So, if you want to become a finance expert, MB310, and then this is finance and trade and elastics SCM, SCM supply chain management, trade and elastics. So, 80% you will get from here, 20% from here. This is together MB310. Okay. So, if you want to become an expert in MB330, then it is SCM trade and elastics and warehouse management. Okay. And uh, at present, PMA, there is no certification. And 335 is manufacturing certification. Now, I'm going to cover here. This is 78 batch. It is clearly mentioned 78. And 627 is trade and elastics. This is the module. In this, you are going to learn sales and marketing, procurement and sourcing, product information management, inventory management, bill of material. Inventory closing, intercompany stock transfer, some advanced inventory management, and some extent master planning. These are the modules I will cover next two months. So manufacturing, I will teach, but it is a separate core. This is on the weekends. This is these two are these three are Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday it is 6 to 7, 78, 8 to 9. These are Monday to Friday. And Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, 6 to 8 manufacturing. And uh, 8 to 10, it is project management activity. Yeah, whether I have given answer to your question, please. So, so the, the production planning comes under this MB335, right? Yeah, manufacturing, it is MB335. So if you want to become expert, it is better to learn first this one. Mm -hmm. So if you want to become a Finance expert, first you are going to learn finance, then you are going to learn trade and logistics, supply chain management, then you are going to learn PMP. Then you are going to become a finance expert with these three modules. If you want to become a SCM expert, first you will start with this one. You can, you can start with your career with uh, SCM trade and logistics, and then warehouse management, and then manufacturing. These three are part of SCM expert. And if you want to become a retail expert, SCM Trade and Elastics, the first one, and then retail and e-commerce, these three. Okay. So, such so, when you are saying, uh, sorry. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, proceed, proceed. So, when you, when you say like expert, like is it functional expert? Like there are different certifications, right? Yeah. Like functional expert, um, hmm. data, I think there are a lot of different certifications. So which one is th that we are trying to focus? So uh, I'm providing training uh, in the very first I have discussed here. I'm a functional expert, but not a okay. technical expert. OK. I'm a functional expert, but not a technical. Got you. Thank you. Okay, so you are going to learn from this course functional only, not technical. So anyone would like to learn, suppose if I want to learn PMA, suppose I will not if you are working in a company, then only I will consider into PMA sessions because you cannot learn PMA, you cannot learn manufacturing directly. You cannot. If you are working in a company already, then only you can learn this. Too. This one you can start, but this one, no use. If you are joining directly, you cannot understand directly this too. Yeah. I'm already a production planner. Okay. So you can learn this one. This is a separate course, uh, uh, Vignesh. This also takes to uh, the same like 60 hours. Or... Yeah, uh, yeah, six, uh, like uh, two and a half months it will take this course also. Okay. But not now. This is mostly this month uh, 
maybe after two weeks, three weeks, I'm going to start a new batch. This one and this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anything else, please? Anyone? <coughs> Any more questions? No more questions, then I will start getting to this uh, subject. So if you want to learn any ERP, if you want to learn any ERP, first you need to understand the structure, like you are going to join in a software company. Once you learn this product, what is your goal? You are going to join in a software company. Okay. That software company may be Accenture, maybe TCS, Infosys, Hitachi, or small companies like there are so many companies in the market. Okay, Godrej, uh, Sonata, there are so many, so many companies out there. Okay, you are going to join in a software company that is called Microsoft Partner Companies. This software company is also called Microsoft Partner Companies. And once you join in a company, you are going to get into a project. You, are, you need to get a job. You need to, once you get into your job, job, you are going to allocate to one project. That project is called, for this so software company, they will call it as client. It's called client. So you will speak like you are an employee. You will speak like a, I'm into the project. Your friends will speak like project is allocated or not. Project is allocated or not. That means you are going to work for a, Client for this company, it is called client. What this client will do? They will purchase the material for any client. They will purchase the material, they will sell the material. So, to purchase these things, we need purchasing process. To sell this material, we need to understand sales process. To understand about purchasing process, you are going to learn procurement and sourcing module. You are going to learn procurement sourcing module. If you want to understand sales process, you need to understand sales and marketing module. To do these things, we need item related functions that is called product information management and inventory management. So these four modules you are going to learn. Along with this one, there is a master planning. So master planning also you are going to learn. So procurement and sourcing, product information management, inventory management, sales and marketing, master planning. All these five modules you are going to learn in the coming sessions. Okay, along with this one, I will introduce what is this warehouse management, transportation management, land and cost. This is the high level picture I will explain you in this one. And I will explain you about this manufacturing also high level picture. One hour, two hours, what is going on in this area, I will explain you. But I'm not going to teach you all these things. Okay, so the major link in this, within this one, you are going to learn bill of material. Actually, bill of material is part of manufacturing, but you need to understand bill of material. Okay, and then advanced inventory management also you are going to understand. Next, invent, like intercompany stock transfer also you are going to learn. In this, I will tell you one small thing, item model group. Item model group, if I, if I want to show you, it will take two minutes. But if you want to understand item model group, it will take seven to eight hours. <coughs> okay, it will take seven to eight hours to understand about item model group. The reason behind in that there are so many models before LIFO weighted average. Okay, I will explain you all these things. And one more thing, uh, for 10 days, almost 10 days, I will combine both batches. Even though if you are joining for SCM Trade Elastics or you are joining for Finance, for 10 days, you need to join for 6 to 8. Only 10 days, not now, next month. In the next month, I will combine both batches and I will make it 6 to 10, sorry, 6 to 8. So the reason behind some topics finance consultants should know about uh, SCM, trade elastics. Some people, uh, some topics related to this uh, trade elastics should be learned finance topic also. So I will combine these two batches 
and I'll make it six to eight for 10 days only. Okay, fine. So this is about introduction. So let me go to the application. The first process to look at this one purchase process. You are going to learn about first process is purchasing process. Purchasing process means purchase order. Purchase order confirmation. Product received. Vendor invoice. This is called purchase order process. Purchase order process. What is this purchase order process? What is this? So there are so many things there like request for quotation uh, and one more thing like uh, purchase requisition. There are so many things you are going to learn, but small topic first I'm starting with in the purchasing process. The first topic topic purchase order process. What is this purchase order? Purchase order means we are giving an order to the vendor. So if you want to learn this ERP, say this is software company, <coughs> this is client where you are working, and these are vendor companies, these are called customer companies. So four different types of companies here it is exist. One is software company. One is you need to imagine this is your company. <clears throat> Actually, you are sitting in software company. If you want to learn ERP, you need to imagine like you are running a business. Then it will be easy for you to understand. Okay, so you are running a business. Example, mobile shop. You have started a mobile shop, simple mobile shop. Then this is you are running your business, mobile shop. And you are purchasing material from different different vendor companies. Vendor organizations are suppliers. From where you are purchasing, these companies are called vendor organizations are supplier organizations. And to whom you are selling, it is customers. So you are running a wholesale business. You need to imagine like you are running a wholesale business. So you are purchasing and you are selling. Whenever if you want to purchase, you need to give an order to this vendor company. That is this one. Purchase order means we are giving an order to the vendor or supplier. Both are same. So in India, we'll call it as vendor. In across the globe, it is called vendor. But in UK, they will call it as supplier. In UK, they, they will call it as supplier. So you are giving or here, you need to imagine like this is my shop, this is my company. So we are giving an order to the vendor is purchase order. We are informing our phone or email, whatever it may be. You are giving information to the vendor company that is called purchase order. Okay, purchase order confirmation means it is it will validate budget. Budget is available or not, it will be validated. That is a little bit of link to finance. We'll discuss this point later. Now, product receipt. Product receipt means we have received material from the vendor. Product receipt means we have received material from the vendor. Received material from the vendor. Next, here, financial postings, and it will update vendor balance. <coughs> If you do like this, vendor balance will be updated. Okay, this is purchase order process, simple. But in between, there are so many things like receipt list, registration. All these things we'll discuss later. 
not now. Okay, there are something else it is there. Currently, I'm not focusing on this process. I'm not discussing. We'll discuss this point later. Okay, and then arrival over you also it is there. There are some more topics in between, but I will discuss these points later. Next arrival journal. These topics are, it will be included in between that we'll discuss later. So currently we are focusing on <clears throat> purchase order creation and purchase order confirmation and then product receipt and then invoice. Okay. So let me show you this process in the system. In the system, let me show you. So this is the application. <clears throat> I'm closing this one. This is a browser. And you can click on URL. Then it will open. So in real time scenario, it will ask you username and password. But this is a trial version. Trial version, that is the reason it is not asking any username and password for me. So in real time scenario, if you are working for a client, if you are working for a project, then it will ask you username and password. You need to enter username and password. Then only it will be opened the application. So here there are so many sample companies provided by Microsoft. There are so many. Okay, this B009, B10, B11, all these are created by me to explain to you. This I will discuss with you later. As I told you already, this new company creation process, I'll discuss with you later, not now. I discussed already. So here, the new company creation process. I'll discuss with you later, not now. So now, for starting point, you need to learn from one company that is called USMF company. USMF company. So that is the reason I have written here, USMF company. So imagine this is your company. So whenever you are learning, suppose for vendor, you are the customer. Many people will think like this. Like suppose for the customer, you are the vendor. Don't look at that point. You need to imagine this is your company. Always this is your company. And for you, vendor is a, like if you want to purchase, then there should be a vendor. And for you, if you want to sell a material, you need a customer. You need to imagine from like this only. Don't imagine from here. So not only dynamics, any ERP. If you want to learn any ERP, you need to imagine this is your company and you are purchasing and you are selling. Fine. Now, so we are learning in USMF company because in USMF company, all the setups are already there. You are working on USMF company first initially. So here, left side, there are modules. Okay, into scroll down. Procurement and sourcing module. Collapse all. Purchase orders, all purchase orders. <coughs> so the path for this one is purchase order. Procurement and sourcing. Procurement and sourcing, purchase orders, all purchase orders. So procurement and sourcing, procurement and sourcing, purchase orders, all purchase orders. We are in USMF company. Okay, I'm taking duplicate browser. You can click on new button. Left side corner, click on new button. So you need to select from the drop down, you need to select the vendor account. So I'm selecting 1001 ACME Office Supplies. 
then site and warehouse is mandatory. You need to select site and warehouse. Okay. So what is this site and warehouse? You will understand slowly. Warehouse is the material where you are going to keep. If you want to keep a material, keep material, we need some space in a uh, like company that is called warehouse. Okay. So I have selected warehouse 11. Next, I'm selecting item. So this is an item 1000. Surface Pro 128 AB, 128 GB, one uh, something laptop kind of thing. I'm purchasing. Okay. Give me a second, please. Someone is joining. Okay. So price is coming automatically. From where it is coming, I will explain you later. So suppose 10 quantity. Price is coming from somewhere else. From where it is coming, I will discuss with you. Uh, uh, like uh, I will explain in future. Purchase price. There are four different places price will be captured. One is uh, purchase agreement. Another one is trade agreement. Another one is in release product. Then otherwise you need to enter manually in the system. What is that? I will explain later. So purchase price. It is coming automatically. Quantity 10. Once it is created, this is the first step is completed. Purchase order created. That means you have given this information to your vendor. Please send me these many material. Next, receive tab. Sorry, purchase tab. You need to do a confirm. There are two buttons. It is there. Small button is without printing. Confirmation is with printing. So if you don't want print, you can use this one. If you want print out, you can use this one. Either one you can use it. Both are same. I'm using this button confirm. Confirm means at the time of like confirmation, system will verify the budget funds are available or not. It is a finance topic. We'll discuss with you later. So once it is confirmed, then status will be changed from approved to confirm. It will be changed from approved to confirm. So it is changed from approved to confirm. Next, receive tab, product receipt. Product receipt means we have received material from the vendor. So whenever it is received material, vendor will send you one document that is called GRN number or product receipt number. So it is mandatory. So while practicing, it is dummy number, but in real time scenario, it is a very, very important number, GRN number or product receipt number. So and document date, when they have generated. Click OK. So if you do product receipt, what happens? We have received material means on hand inventory will be increased. The physical inventory. Physical inventory will be increased. That means Suppose already 18, it is available. Now it was added 10. Okay. So then it will become 80 plus 10, 90. Okay. So product receipt means you are, you are have received material from the vendor. So on hand inventory or physical inventory will be increased. Next, vendor invoice. Vendor invoice means we have received invoice copy from the vendor. That invoice number you need to enter. Sorry. 
So I am entering invoice number. Invoice date, I am entering here. That means you have received invoice copy from the vendor. How it looks like invoice. Is the invoice copy. So vendor will generate invoice. Vendor will generate invoice. One copy for his filing. For his filing, one copy with uh, transport. One copy will be given to you. Always for any company, whenever they are generating invoice, they will have three copies. One copy for their filing. One copy for transport. One copy given to you. Okay, that invoice number you need to enter here. Whatever you have received invoice, that number, and then invoice date, and then you need, you need to click on totals. You will verify. You will verify the total amount. So what is the amount here? In this, what is the price? What is the uh, unit price? What is the quant? How many quantity and total amount? And if it is any transportation charges, any discounts, any taxes, all these things you are going to learn in coming sessions. First, you need to understand any discounts are there. Any charges, charges means transportation charges, loading and loading charges, insurance charges. There are so many. If it is any taxes and total amount, this total amount, whatever you have received from the vendor, that amount is tallying or not, it will be validated. So that is called update mass status. So at present, it is update mass status is not performed. If you click on update mass status, it will be passed. Okay. If there is any differences are there, how to handle it, you will understand after one month. Not now. So in this month end, you are going to learn. If it is mismatch anything, how to handle it. So at present, whatever when an invoice received amount is tallying with this amount, there is no differences. So then we are proceeding. Then you can post. If you post invoice, what happens? The vendor balance will be increased. The vendor account, accounts payable, collapse all vendors, all vendors. You can open this one. This amount 8,900. The total amount is 8,990. That will be updated in finance. This is a finance topic. 8,990. Let me check duplicate one more. So I'm showing you release button. That is item master. Item master means here it is called release product. Product information management. Products, release products. So if you open this item 1000, manage inventory, on hand inventory, you will find earlier yeah, it is maybe around uh, 386, now it was 396. So let me do one more transaction. I'm creating new. I'm selecting the vendor 1001. Warehouse, I'm selecting 11 warehouse. Click OK. Now look at this one. It is 396. Once it is received, it will become, uh, it will add the items. Let me show you. Suppose I'm purchasing now 4 quantity. 4 quantity. I have given an order for 4 quantity. So then once it is 
If I have completed product receipt, it will become 400. Let me show you. I have created. Now that means we have intimated to the vendor. Please send four, four items. Suppose take the example. This is washing machine. You are asking send me four washing machines. OK, the price is coming from somewhere else. I will discuss with you later. Next confirmation is mandatory. So if you use this one, it will give you a printout. So if you want to take a printout, you can enable this one. Then it will give you a printout option. It will take one minute time. One or two minutes time. Let it be. It is a small button confirm. It will not give you option to take a printout, but in this one confirmation, it will give you a printout. So that is the reason I don't want to take a printout. That is the reason I will use the button confirm rather than confirmation. If it is a confirmation, it will give you printout. So during confirmation, it will validate the budget funds available or not. During confirmation, it will validate the budgets. Okay, it is mandatory step. You can use confirm button or confirmation. Either one you can use it. Okay, this is a print format. So if the client wants to modify this print format, you can modify. That is with the help of developer. Technical person can modify. You are going to guide him how to modify. So now confirm. Then I'm doing product receipt. Receive tab, generate area page. This is called tab. Manage tab, purchase tab, receive tab. This is tab and generate area page, product receipt. So you need to enter product receipt number. That means vendor will generate the document. He will send it to you, the document number. It is also called GRN number. And a day. Goods receipt note. Okay, click both. <clears throat> if you do product receipt, if you complete this product receipt, what happens in the on hand inventory? This will become 400. Look at this one. So as I told you, if you do product receipt, on hand inventory or physical inventory will be increased. That's what here. Physical inventory in on hand inventory. This is manage inventory. Tab view area page on hand inventory button. In this you are going to increase like physical inventory. Okay. If you do product receipt, the fiscal inventory is increased. Now I'm doing vendor invoice. Next up is invoicing. Invoice tab, generate area page, invoice button. Now you can enter the invoice number. So you have received an invoice copy like this. An invoice copy you will receive from the vendor. So that number you need to enter. An invoice date. Okay. Here, mass status it is there. Update mass status passed. So you need to wait for 20 days. You need to understand if you want to understand what is this update mass status that is matching policies, two way matching, three way matching, price matching, total matching, like item matching. Uh, charges matching. There are so many matching policies are there. Those matching policies this month and you are going to learn about this one. Fine. Next one is post button. Before posting, 
we will verify the total amount is tallied or not. In this invoice copy, what is the amount? What is the charges? That is transportation charges, loading and loading charges, freight charges, whatever it is. Okay, and then if it is any taxes, if it is any discounts, everything will be validated. If everything is fine, then we'll proceed with post button. So this vendor invoice is a part of finance, to be frank. This is finance consultants or finance people, they will do it. Let me proceed. Once you post invoice, what happens in the vendor balance? One more transaction will be created. Okay, one more transaction will be up. Today, there are two transactions. One is 8,990, another one is 3,596. This is about purchase order process. There are so many things inside you are going to learn a lot. This is very simple. Uh, to be frankly, if you compare in the purchase process, suppose the purchase process is this much. You learned simple this much. You have learned this one. In the purchase process, there are so many things you need to understand. Today topic, whatever you have learned is small, this much. Okay, there are many things because you need to understand a different, different inside PR process, purchase order process, and then purchase request, you need to understand, request for quotation, you need to understand. Then within PO, there are so many things you are going to learn about all these things. There is a few subject you need to learn in the coming sessions. Fine. Any questions, please, anyone? Anyone have any questions? Need any clarifications? So this vendor, uh, already it is created vendor, sir? Yeah, so as I told you, if you look at this one, whenever I'm teaching, first I will explain transactions. Masters, I will explain. Setups and conversions, I will explain. After one month, I'm going to create a new company. At that time, you will understand with a new company in that everything you need to do it. Okay. Right? So now, okay. So now, vendor, item, like price, everything is already created. Yeah. Yes, exactly right. Already created. Okay. So if you look at this one, I will explain you after one month, I will create one company called Batch 116 or 115. See, earlier batches I have created. Like this, I will create. For manufacturing company, I have created B009. For project management accounting, I have created B10. In the same manner, B113. For batch explaining, to explain B114. Like that, I will create one company. So that you will understand complete picture in the uh, after one month. Not now. First, I am focusing on this one. Okay, sir. Yeah. So suppose if I want, if you want to learn uh, item master, so I will take one diagram. Coming sessions, you are going to learn. If you want to create an item master, what are the mandatory fields? If you want to create an item master, we need storage dimension group, tracking dimension group, product dimension group, item group, item model group. Purchase unit, inventory unit, sales unit, and then purchase price, cost price, sales price, inventory price. And storage dimension group means all these things. Tracking dimension group means all these things. Product dimension group means all these things. Like this, you need to understand so many things inside. Slowly, you will understand these things later on. First, my focus is transaction, then masters and submasters. Okay, clear. Yes, sir. Okay, so, so Danish, uh, I think you have joined late. Okay, so we are going to close the session in five minutes.
you can join you have one more link finance you can join for finance link in five minutes okay fine and one more thing today whatever i have I have explained everything i'll share with you in the recording session you can go to youtube in youtube i will uh, i will uh, upload here so if you go to youtube you can go to ax satya so in ax satya there is uh, already some some sample videos also already there here i will upload so you can go through this one i will share with you also if possible some people if you are not able to find then you can find in the youtube okay and uh, this is my mobile number i hope many people you know already my whatsapp number it is 9866669989 this is my number and this is my linkedin profile as well as my youtube channel or my email id everything is a satya okay if you uh, look at by a satya you will find my details is my a satya okay and you can youtube channel okay so like this okay you can find my details clearly so i will upload this video recording session whatever we have discussed today 6 to 7 i will upload into that group and as well as i will try to share with you if i have contact if you, if you if you don't have like i mean to say if i have i don't have your contacts you can contact me in whatsapp 9866669989 this is my number okay. yeah before we end up the session any questions please so we have 78 session i will start 78 session now yeah 6 to 7 every day 6 to 7 it is scm prognostics before we end up the session any questions please anyone so we will get this ppt as well like yeah yeah i'll share with you all these things uh, like you can ping me in whatsapp i'll share with you because uh, there are so many people approach me so how can i i cannot remember all those things so you can ping approach me in whatsapp i'll share with you so this documents also i'll share with you all every day okay so in this folder it will be so i'll make in a zip folder like this so i have deleted now <coughs> whenever i'm sending i'll make it a zip file and i'll share periodically okay this files yeah. any more questions please uh, what about the uh, training recorded videos satya so for today and tomorrow i will upload in video record like as i told you i will upload in uh, youtube for today and tomorrow later on i will share with you whoever is paid fee from monday onwards whoever is paid fee for them only i will share with you in whatsapp group i will create i have created one whatsapp group uh, like uh, this batch is 115 and finance is 116 okay so i will separately uh, share with you in whatsapp group from monday onwards for today and tomorrow i will upload in youtube you can watch in youtube for today and tomorrow but from monday onwards i will share with you in yeah. anything else team is it possible to download the videos or uh, no, how it is going no. you cannot download it only you can view you cannot download it okay but is there any limit i mean to say only one so month usually it will be 4 to 6 months okay it will be 4 to 6 months <laughs> any more questions team any more questions if not let us join for finance even though you are interested in only sm scm only but you can join for finance also today and tomorrow it is free session please join for finance you have another link already finance you can join that link okay see you all bye bye thank you you're welcome thank you you're welcome thank you